Hey, I am up at 4.30 a.m. in the red light district of Burgos, Manila in Makati. And, uh, and it's not for what you think I might be out here for. Uh, an awesome Philippine experience. <laughs> oh, there you heard it from a native Filipina. I'm actually trying to get a taxi to go see this guy named Tony Meloto. Uh, I'm gonna go with him to see a village today and see some housing programs that they've been doing out there. So I will take you along with me, let's go. And they have uh, uh, Muslims and they have Christians, but then they're able to, 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 to become productive and they come and build a peaceful nation. I'm here in Bulacan, it's not too far from Manila, and this is where uh, Kawad Galinga, it's this group that I'm uh, observing today. Ella, say hello! <laughs> Are you shy? <laughs> oh, now you're shy! Kawad Kalinga is a pretty large organization out here in the Philippines. It's pretty well known and they've done quite a lot. They've built over 2,000 villages all over the Philippines for people who had no homes, who were squatters, who were living in slums. And so these people have gone from being slum dwellers to living in villages, but the main thing that they focus on is community, is building up the community so everybody will work together, uh, values building and things like that, so people will have dignity in themselves. And it really helps to lower the crime rate, and it's really helping to develop the kind of worse off communities all across the Philippines. So all those people there, they uh, were just kind of poor people that lived around this area, kind of squatters maybe, and now they have homes and they've got land that has been given to them, so now they live in these homes, but they also help to maintain the land and, uh, you know, have dignity of the area. And right now, uh, Tony, uh, he is the leader of this group. He is giving directions to all of the people that live here. And the guy that offered this land, he gave this land for free. He had two hectares that he gave, but then the rest of his land that's in the same area is like shooting up in value because this group has come here and is, and is developing it. So he actually has made a really good financially sound decision in offering his land. To, to these people and to this group that is going to be using it for all kinds of organic uh, farming and things like that. This would be kind of like a Disneyland tourist destination for uh, social enterprise, for people who are interested in social enterprise in the Philippines. So they're building up a whole kind of community thing here and there's about uh, I think 10 French students that are going to set up a bed and breakfast here. It's an internship thing that they're doing. So these college business students from France are coming here and developing relationships and building up bed and breakfasts here. Bonjour tous les Français. Oh, what's an accent? <laughs> How do you like it here? Are you having fun? Yeah, great. How's the food? My food is very, really tasty. It's really tasty? Yeah. What kind of food did you eat so far? Uh, chicken adobo, pork adobo. And rice and rice. <laughs> and rice and rice. <laughs> Have you eaten here before? Of course. Yeah? Is the food here like really good? Yeah, you can try it now. There. I will. <laughs> Let's try it now. <laughs> Carl, what is this meat called that we're eating? This one is we call it Diempo. Diempo? L-I-E-M-P-O. Diempo. Okay, we're, meat, we're eating Diempo. And pickled, uh, what is it? Eggplant. Yeah, pickled eggplant. And mung bean. And mung bean soup. It's very, very delicious. There's a lot of stuff going on out here that I kind of find interesting. So, uh, check it out. Kawad, Kawad Galinga. I'll put links in the description box, so check out the description box if you're interested. Hey, this is Tresh. She's with Kawad Galinga. And tell, tell everybody what you just told me. Okay, so, you know, the network of Kawad Galinga is very priceless. Because as a traveler, um, if you want to go all over the Philippines, you can just go into the different villages and they'll be more than welcome to have you there. So. And they'll host you, <laughs> yeah, they'll, they'll host feed you. you. They'll feed you. They'll just let you yeah. stay there anywhere and, you go. Mm, the Gawad Kalinga name is the past for uh, an awesome Philippine experience. Oh, 
There you heard it from a native Filipina. The Gawad Kalinga name is the pass yeah. for a good Filipino experience. They, they were very welcoming to me. They said, if you want to stay, please stay. You can sleep in our home. You can, we'll give you food. And they have organic farms, so they've got very good healthy food, I'm sure. So it seems like a great, great situation. Okay, bye bye, Ella. Bye. <laughs> Yay, we're running in the rain! <laughs> <laughs>